News organizations urge Biden and Trump to commit to presidential debates during the 2024 campaign. What is up, people of the internet? It is me, Real American, back again with a new video today. It is time to talk about the 2024 presidential election because everyone... We might be having debates far sooner than in years past, as news organizations urge Biden and Trump to commit to presidential debates during the 2024 campaign. Yeah, we're not even in May, and you already have debates that, more than likely, will occur later this year. Now, before we continue with today's video, I hope you enjoy these type of videos. If you do, smash the like button down below, subscribe, share with your friends, hit that little bell, Follow the social media accounts in the description down below, and of course, join the channel today. Again, folks, all support is greatly appreciated, and uh, yeah. Now let us get into it. 12 news organizations on Sunday urged presumptive presidential nominees Joe Biden and Donald Trump to agree to debates, saying they were a rich tradition that had been part of every general election campaign since 1976. While Trump, who did not participate in debates with the Republican nomination, has indicated willingness to take on his 2020 rival, the Democratic president has not committed to debating him. Yeah. So Trump has already said repeatedly he is going to debate against Biden, or at least he wants to. Well, Biden, on the other hand, not so much. Because every time this campaign has been asked, will Biden debate? Yes or no? They have been giving a bunch of maybes. That's effectively what they've been saying. Not yes, not no, maybe. And I do wonder, do they realize that this guy can't even debate at this point? He's gotten so bad that he can't read a teleprompter correctly. What do you think's going to happen on the debate stage when supposedly he's not going to have a script, not have a teleprompter, have none of that? It would be a disaster for him. And that's why they haven't, as of yet, answered the question. Although invitations have not been formally issued, the news organization said it was not too early for each campaign to say publicly they will participate in three presidential and one vice presidential forums set by the nonpartisan commission on presidential debates. And I agree with this. You should commit right now. Will you debate? Yes or no? And in my opinion, we should have more debates this year. Not three, have like five or six. Have one in each swing state. And of course, have the vice presidential debate. You can do this. I mean, why shouldn't you? Why shouldn't you have a debate in each of the swing states? Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Georgia, Arizona, Nevada. It would make sense. Like, okay, let's have a debate in each one of these states, or at least a town hall between the two candidates. If there is one thing Americans can agree on during this polarized time, it is that the stakes of this election are exceptionally high, the organization said in a joint statement. Amidst this backdrop, there is simply no substitute for the candidates debating with each other, and before the American people, their visions for the future of our nation. Which I agree with. There is no reason not to commit now. And like I said, we should be having many more debates before October, before September. We should have debates in July. Because the American people deserve to know, all right, in detail, what are you going to do as president? Or in Biden's case for a second term, and even Trump's case. ABC, CBS, CNN, Fox, PBS, NBC, NPR, and the Associated Press all sign on to the letter. Which is kind of fascinating that all the news networks are agreeing, hey, we should have debates. Now, I think this is because the ratings are so bad that they need a debate to get people to watch their networks, but this is a good thing that these networks are pressuring the campaigns to commit early to a debate, or a couple debates, I should say. I like this. Now, they're not doing it because they care for democracy, but it's better than nothing. Biden and Trump debated twice in 2020. A third debate was canceled after Trump, then president, tested positive for COVID-19 and would not debate remotely. Asked on March 8th whether he would commit to a debate with Trump, Biden said it depends on his behavior. 
The president was visibly miffed by his opponent in the freewheeling first 2020 debate at one point saying, will you shut up? And look at that response. He didn't say yes. He didn't say no. He said, it depends on his behavior. What? Who cares what Trump says or does? It doesn't matter. You should show up to the debate no matter what. Why does it matter what Trump does? It doesn't matter. He should show up to the debate stage no matter what happens, no matter what Trump says. Why should that even matter? In my opinion, this makes him look weak because he's not committing to a debate because, oh, the orange man might be mean. Really? Th that's your reasoning? He's going to be a mean person. Who cares? Trump campaign manager Susie Wiles and Chris Lachiva sent in a letter this past week that we have already indicated Trump is willing to debate anytime, anyplace, anywhere. And the time to start these debates is now. And I like this message. We want to debate anywhere, anytime. In fact, let's start right now. I am so glad the Trump campaign is capitalizing on this because Biden... Will he debate? Who knows? So let's hammer him on it and say we will debate anywhere, anytime. But let's start right now. Why can't we have a debate in a month? Why? They cited the seven 1858 Illinois Senate debates between Abraham Lincoln and Stephen Douglas, saying certainly today's America deserves as much. And I agree with that. If they could have seven debates, and remember, the debates back then were like eight hours long. They stood up there talking for hours on end. That was the debate then. Why can't we have more debates than three? Why does it have to be three? Why can't it be six? Why can't it be seven? Like it was in the Illinois Senate race with Lincoln. The Republican National Committee voted in 2022 to no longer participate in forums sponsored by the Commission of Presidential Debates. The Trump campaign has not indicated it would adhere to that, but did have some conditions. The campaign manager said the commission selected a demonstrably anti-Trump moderator and then Fox News host Chris Wallace in 2020 and wants assurances that the commission debates are fair and impartial. That's an understatement. Chris Wallace was terrible in that debate. I mean, that was bad. Anytime Trump spoke, it doesn't matter what he said. He could have said the sky was blue and Chris Wallace would say, well, that's actually incorrect. He was debating Chris Wallace more than Biden. Anytime Trump spoke, Chris Wallace said, no, no, that's incorrect, sir. You you have to be quiet. It's like, no, that's not your job. You're a moderator. You're not supposed to debate with the candidates. You're supposed to make sure the debate is kind of civil. The Trump campaign also wants a timetable moved up, saying that many Americans will have already voted by September 16th, October 1st, and October 9th, the dates of the three debates set by the commission. And that is very reasonable. At least have, like, two debates before any voting starts, at the bare minimum. And then you can have, like, two or three after early voting started. Or something. There is no reason to have all the debates started right after early voting began. There's no reason for it. Have like two debates in August and July or something, like even June, so Americans can see what their options really are. What does Biden stand for? What does Trump stand for? The Biden campaign declined comment on the news organization's letter, pointing to the president's earlier statement. There was no immediate response to the Trump campaign. So the Biden campaign, they're just saying, it depends what Trump does. Depends on his behavior. Why? Why are they so worried about what Trump's going to say or do? Why? Does it matter? Who cares if Trump says something mean? You should show up. I mean, why do people think this campaign is so good when they're reasoning to not debate or they're claiming is a reason they might not debate is because orange man bad. How is that a good strategy? Do you think that's going to help him win voters over when he refuses to debate because orange man is bad? Really? 
But on Saturday, Trump held a rally in northeastern Pennsylvania with two lecterns set up on the stage, one from to give a speech, the other to symbolize what he said was Biden's refusal to debate him. The second lectern had a place card that read, Anytime, Anywhere, any place." Midway through his campaign speech, Trump turned to his right and pointed to the second lectern. See the podium? I'm calling on crooked Joe Biden to debate anytime, anywhere, any place, right there, and we have to debate because our country's going the wrong direction so badly. We have to explain to the American people what the hell's going on, Trump said. I like this messaging. I like this. This is perfect. Because if Biden refuses to debate, th there's no positives for him. It's only going to end poorly for him. Look at what happened with Jimmy Carter. He refused to debate, and that backfired. And it would be crazy to think that, oh, this time it's different. Somehow, if Biden doesn't debate, that, that means he's going to win. No. If he doesn't show up, like he just says, no, I'm not going to debate because orange man bad. What would that do to his polling numbers? I mean, seriously. Do these people really think his numbers would spike up? It would surge? No! People will look at this and say to themselves, what the hell are we doing? Trump is willing to debate anytime, anywhere, any place, but our president supposedly doesn't want to debate. Or maybe it's because he can't. Maybe his health is getting so bad that he can't physically debate anymore. Either way, that's a net negative. It's going to hurt him badly. I don't get why people think this isn't a big deal. If Biden refuses these calls to debate, I don't see how it ends good for him. You can't just say, nah, I'm not debating because orange man bad. And the only reason Trump was able to skip one debate in 2020 was because he had COVID. That's the only reason that occurred. While Biden has no excuse, you're the president of the United States. If you can't debate, I mean, these are not, you know, seven hour long debates that take a long time. No, they last for like two hours and that's it. If you can't even debate someone at all, you should not be the president of the United States. That's a fact. You shouldn't be anywhere near the White House if you are not willing to debate. Or, if you physically cannot debate, why should you be the leader of America? Why? Anyways, folks, thank you so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, smash the like button down below. Subscribe. Share with your friends. Hit that little bell. Follow the social media accounts in the description down below. And of course, join the channel today. Godspeed to all of you.